Всем привет, с вами Леонид Бугаев, и сегодня в гостях у нас Энди Карвел, э, директор по развитию известного, э, думаю, всем сервиса SoundCloud. Hi, Энди. And Hi. the question is, um, which model of monetization do you use? Because, uh, as I understand, you don't sell music, and that's the main difference between the SoundCloud and the other services like iTunes, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's absolutely right. We, we don't sell music and we're not a, a marketplace for music. Uh, what, we, what we have is a platform for creators of any kind of original music or audio to, to upload their, their um, sounds to our platform and, and share them with the world and build an audience. Mm -hmm. um, so whilst we don't sell the music directly on the site, um, if uh, many of our, the creators that are using the platform are using the uh, using SoundCloud to, to promote their, their tracks. And of course, we want them to, to help them make money from that. Mm -hmm. So we allow them to, to add um, links to their, their tracks, which link off to, for example, iTunes or Beatport, where they might offer the MP3 available for download for, yeah, for sale. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we absolutely want our, the creators on the platform mm -hmm. to make money. Um, and yeah, we're always looking for, for new ways to help them do that. So uh, yeah. you're providing the platform to uh, uh, put my creative products like music like uh, speech for example mm -hmm. and just to spread the, these words to my audience that's absolutely right mm -hmm. yeah so what we what we have created is is the the leading audio platform uh, this really mm -hmm. like the, the the best place to for a emerging artist or anybody who wants to build an audience and, sh and share their sounds quickly mm -hmm. uh, we've given them all the tools and the ecosystem they need to do that so uh, we have You know, from like unsigned bands and uh, you know just uh, maybe like aspiring singers and mm -hmm. comedians on the platform to sort of uh, very well-known celebrities like um, mm -hmm. uh, Snoop Dogg, Justin Bieber, just to put some tracks up there. Um, so it's really the whole spectrum from the sort of very amateur uh, mm -hmm. audio creators right through to to the superstar musicians and the record labels. They're, they're all using SoundCloud. Where is the money? Could you describe the uh, how you? Uh, earning the positive cash flow, for example, in your service, because you're paying for the hosting, for traffic, for the whole mm -hmm. stuff, and you are profitable businesses, I understand. Uh, so I, we're, we're not actually profitable yet, but mm -hmm. uh, we have significant amount of revenue coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been actually sort of you know, cash, flow, cash flow positive from day one. We've, we've always mm -hmm. had a revenue stream. Uh, the reason, the way we do that is through premium accounts. So we have a mm -hmm. freemium model. Mm -hmm. um, anybody who Uh, wants to upload audio to SoundCloud can do so at, at, at free of point of entry. Mm -hmm. uh, if they want to host more than two hours of audio on the platform, mm -hmm. then we have a premium account tiers for that. So we have a pro plan and a pro unlimited. A pro plan, I think, uh, can host up to four hours of audio. Uh, mm -hmm. Pro unlimited, it's, it's unlimited. Um, mm -hmm. You can upload as much music or audio as you want. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also provide some, some analytics to go with that um, so that people can see who's listening to their tracks and mm -hmm. where in the world. Um, yeah, it gives them sort of more insight into into where their audience is. So you're providing the closest way to audience, mm -hmm. and in as as you remember, what's the closest time, for example, when the creative person puts the very work on the SoundCloud platform, three minutes after record session. <laughs> I mean, 20 years ago, it mm -hmm. could take three years to record the right. The, the sound, the, the track. Right now we have all the tools inside my uh, PC, even on my iPhone, I already have yep. many tools to, to record. The so absolutely, yeah. So let me give you a couple of examples. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, our official apps, the SoundCloud app uh, right now has a record feature right at the, there built in. So mm -hmm. you can actually record and upload and post directly to SoundCloud. You can also share that directly over mm -hmm. your social networks if you want to integrate those integrate mm -hmm. those two. So yeah, literally I can I can record something right now. It could be recording mm -hmm. this interview. Mm -hmm. And the moment it's over, I could hit, hit save, post it straight up to SoundCloud, and mm -hmm. it's, it's deployed and shared. Um, mm -hmm. So in terms of real life examples, um, Al Jazeera actually have used it used this quite a bit in this capacity. Um, So when they're covering sort of like real-time events, mm -hmm. they can have people, reporters out in the field, recording interviews, for example, with, uh, with people on the street, mm -hmm. and then uploading them directly to, uh, uh, directly to SoundCloud, mm -hmm. also with geotagging, so they can actually appear on a map. This is great for, for festivals and things like that. Cool. So you can have yeah. people like roaming around a festival, interviewing artists, 
and posting the things like there in real time. So yeah, it really is a real time system. Mm -hmm. uh, for example from the music side would be uh, Lorde, um, who had a, the, her hit track Royals, which I think uh, won some awards lately. Mm -hmm. um, she actually uploaded that to, to SoundCloud, um, posted it on Reddit, I believe, and that's sort of where the the ball got rolling and she kind of got noticed and, and yeah, now, now she's uh, sort of mm -hmm. a superstar singer. So. Yeah. Um, so it's really a great way to get discovered sometimes as well. Um, the copyright issues, do you have a mechanism which allows you to understand what it's already uh, the track with uh, other rights, for mm -hmm. example, for, from the other guy? as an automatical tool or you do you have pre-moderator or post-moderator mm -hmm. which understands what we need to deal with this case personally because here is 30 seconds of Shakira new single mm -hmm. etc etc gotcha yeah we have we employ both um, you know quite sophisticated uh, filtering um, technology on the front end to try and catch any um, you know any um, content that, that shouldn't be on the platform mm -hmm. so we don't allow it onto the platform in the first place so we use the fingerprinting technology etc mm -hmm. um, and you know we also work very hard to educate our users that SoundCloud mm -hmm. is a platform for original audio you mm -hmm. know, and it's, it's not a place to, to upload any kind of content which mm -hmm. is yeah which is inappropriate um, and finally we, w we work with um, with the record labels very closely and uh, we operate under the, uh, the DMCA mm -hmm. and the EU safe harbor legislation um, mm -hmm. which uh, basically means that we, we respond to takedown requests very quickly if we get them. So um, mm -hmm. we have a, a process for resolving any, any copyright claims. Mm -hmm. You are close to the Ustream and Livestream services, which uh, includes the video side of the uh, event. For example, they can record not only audio, but a video. And you still stating what it's not your side of business. You uh, focusing only on audio. In the next 20 years, for example, is it possible to uh, see the SoundCloud as an audio plus video cloud? Okay, well, I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not uh, the CEO of the company, so I couldn't say for absolutely sure what we're going to do in 20 years' time, but I think I can say pretty definitely that, that we're not going to go into video. We're an audio company. Mm -hmm. um, we're, our mission is to connect the world through the shared love of sound. Mm. Um, yeah, and that, for us, doesn't involve video. Mm -hmm. So the statement's already written in the... That's, that's our mission, mission, to connect the yeah. whole world through the shared love of sound. And yeah, uh, yeah we really believe that actually by focusing mm -hmm. on, on sound and audio specifically, uh, mm -hmm. we, we believe that we can provide a more focused and better experience for, for, for lovers of music and yeah. audio. Talking about mobile site, which, the, which percent of mobile audience right now you have on your service? How many people go in from the mobile uh, sites, mm -hmm. publication? So we don't release uh, specific user numbers on, on our mobile, um, well, on actually uh, across the, the platform. What I can say is cross-platform altogether, we're reaching uh, over 250 million users per, per month. That's listeners um, who, we're, who are listening to a track streamed from SoundCloud, either through mm -hmm. our API or through our mobile apps or our, our desktop. Um, Going to mobile specifically, we see a lot of traffic on our mobile website, mm -hmm. um, and we're yeah we're doing pretty well in the both the iTunes and the the Google Play stores. In the U.S., I think we're ranked about number 30 overall right now in, in the uh, the iTunes store. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, sort of downloads of our um, native apps um, combined um, I iOS and Android, we're we're doing over five million downloads a month, and and that's growing pretty rapidly too. Mm -hmm. Which advice could you give to the young and hungry to make new big project mobile developer? The person who wants mm -hmm. to create new SoundCloud, for example. Uh, I think there's never been a better time to be a developer with a great idea because there's, just, there's so many tools and um, resources available to you for, for free or, or very cheap or sort of in a scalable way. You've got scalable backends such as like Amazon Web Services. Mm -hmm. um, that allow you to sort of get up and running very quickly. Usually they have a free tier, just like SoundCloud does. So you can really kind of get your idea up and running and then you can really scale it more or less infinitely. Um, and I think that you know, the app stores are fantastic because there's really no barrier to entry there, um, mm -hmm. which you see in the, in the game space particularly is, uh, you know, yeah. it's actually these, these, the, game, the, the companies that are really like killing it these days are, are not the ones that were around five years ago. It's, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not Electronic Arts, it's not Glue Mobile in, in the game space. It's, 
it's um, you know, it's Supercell and it's Rovio and, and these 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 new guys. Um, so it's it's a great opportunity. So coming back to the question, it was uh, you know what advice would I give a give an aspiring developer? I'd say just go for it. Um, try to to talk to to companies that are. Uh, sort of maybe operating in, in the same space or companies that you look up to because if you can get some advice from, from people that are already there and already doing it, you can learn from some of the mistakes that they made. And, uh, but yeah, basically just go for it because the barrier to entry is, is super low. There's, there's no, no real um, penalty to trying these days. Yeah. Uh, вот такой совет от Энди Кэрвелла, берите и делайте, не бойтесь и uh, не ждите, что это произойдет сам, само собой. Я надеюсь, что uh, вы действительно вдохновитесь этими словами и покажете на следующем uh, форуме Mobility свои разработки. И в этот момент вы будете интервьюируемым в, в нашем выпуске. До новых встреч и увидимся.